Hi, new video there. And since I already talked about uh, package managers for Windows in my previous video, I wanna talk about package managers again, because there is huge breakthrough on Windows in that kind of section. So let's fire up Windows Sandbox quick and quickly. Because mm, I will show you something that I didn't know about. Hopefully we are recording. <laughs> Fuck's sake. All right. Yeah. <coughs> All right. So what I didn't know, I, I did know about Winget. Uh, I hope Winget is installed. Uh, here. I did know about that, but I didn't know about Winget UI. And it's a beautiful app. Let's see if Winget is installed. Uh, yeah, it's not installed, but I think that won't be a problem since we can install Winget UI through EXE, which is provided on GitHub. And Winget UI is of course open source, so shouldn't be worrying about viruses and stuff. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's from that guy. I know that. So if we go here under releases, we have here Winget UI installer. Uh, yeah, it says it's not frequently downloaded, so we will keep that anyway and start that. Slovenian, that's all right for me. Like a kind of meme here, I like. Uh, next, next. Short hair. And it can install actually from three sources, uh, Winget UI, the packages. Uh, it can install packages from Winget, from Chocolaty, and from Scoop, which I don't know yet what it is. Uh, so yeah, open Winget UI. Yeah, we will enable Winget. Uh, that's good because we can uh, enable it from here. We don't need to use uh, PowerShell. It's very, very easy on uh, Sandbox to do that for me right now. Uh, chocolatey and Scoop. I don't know about Scoop. Didn't uh, look into that. So we will go with the default here because I mean default is already good. Mm. Administrator privilege. Yeah, that's in my case only, if you install that on your machine, you won't get that. Uh, that's cause Microsoft, of course, uh, in, we are, I am in sandbox right now. It's really quick way f to fire up uh, Windows 11. Uh, uh, look at that, we have edge update. <laughs> we, we can try, update selected packages. Applying update. Mm -hmm. I think it will. I'm pretty sure, I mean, might not work because that's uh, here in Windows Sandbox. Applying update. No, of course it didn't work, uh, but anyway, it will work on your PC. Uh, so, of course, you can install Winget packages from here. Another source, of course, uh, I mean, sorry, another way to install Winget packages is through. So we have Winget right now, right? Uh, I think we we have. Let's see. Mm. Oh, now it's hello, help. Uh, I mean, it's not recognized, probably, because it's not, uh, didn't link it to uh, 
our power shell. Uh, it's only probably some kind of executable somewhere, but it's not linked like. Uh, looks like uh, like is getting uh, uh, packages from repositories, probably chocolate ones. Uh, no, it kinda doesn't look uh, transparent or translucent or whatever it is called here. But I think that's cause of white team. Let's change that to dark. Uh, and let's change it here, right? Or dark restart. All right, we can do that. Uh, yeah, look, it's transparent. It's of course it's beautiful. Eh? It goes together with Windows 11 style. Uh, I mean, of course you can install that on Windows 10. So yeah, this is doing it. Uh, let's try to install one package here. Uh, you don't believe me that thing works. Uh, let's do what the hell are these from let's do uh, one program that didn't have updates in a long time. Yeah. Let's try it from being winged. Uh, install. It's a small program, it's for creating HDR images. You basically take uh, different post images with your camera and feed them into that program. By the way, that program is not really the best uh, when it comes to that. There are better ways. It's really simple. The results might not be the best. It also takes like 8 gigs of RAM when it's doing that. Uh, so yeah, I did install. Uh, yeah, it's here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's here. Uh, let's delete that one. How do we delete that one? Install selected. Yeah, and we installed one from chocolate. Let's see if that works. Uh, there are, no, uh, discover packages. That's the one from chocolate. You can see terminal. I mean, uh, command line output. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. It did work. That's nice. Yeah. It even same configuration state because uh, I moved that there uh, all right so yeah that's great so that's another way of installing winget packages and also chocolatey packages I already have video on chocolatey uh, on my channel you can also install winget packages uh, through Microsoft Store I don't think uh, uh, it's here. No, it's not Microsoft. Sorry, it's not uh, on the uh, uh, sandbox. Uh, but uh, you can install some with get packages through Microsoft Store, but not all of them. Don't know why Microsoft looks like checks every package if it's I don't know. I mean, they could basically dump every package into Microsoft Store. Probably they also want to create like page with description of package and who knows what and pictures of package of a program. Uh, yeah, and that is Winget. You should install that. It's easy to update all the packages. You have updates. Oh, our edge update disappeared. Look like, looks like it was a fluke, that update. Anyway. We don't have updates right now. If we can refresh uh, repositories here. Oh, Edge is back. <laughs> Strewing it. Let's try if the update. It will not update, of course. That's in sandbox, uh, as you can see. Uh, it's, of course, not the same if you install that on uh, your computer. Uh, yeah. 
no it's this newer edge here ah, it's it's of course it's sandbox and why would you update edge to that and if your some packages don't want to update i don't know why uh you can just go here ignore selected packages you can you have they will update through update uh, programs their update programs uh, uh, so yeah this is winget ui uh, and it works pretty damn well it's open source so you can look at the code uh, on github i showed you page so yeah this is all i have for you today and thank you for watching like and subscribe